Hello guys and welcome back to Lazy Modding. I am going to be going over on how to install the latest i3D exporter, which is the initial one for FS25, uh, into Blender, which I will be using the Blender i3D exporter 10.0.0 along with Blender 4.3.0. Uh, and I will have links to that all below in the description so you guys can follow along. So, um, if you guys haven't yet, you do make sure you guys go and download it. So, you'll go to GDN uh, GiantSoftware.com. You'll have to create an account if you don't have one. If you already have one, you'll have to log in. Um, but it, you'll want to go to your downloads page and then you'll locate it right here. So, Blender Exporter Plugins version 10.0.0, Farming Simulator 2025. Um, this will likely be other versions of this, but I this is the version I am using for this tutorial. Other versions should not change in terms of installing it. So um, I already have it installed. Um, so I do remember if it comes in. So it does come as an exe file. So it, it is an executable, um, which is what I have right here. So uh, it will look like just like this whenever you guys get it. I moved it to my uh, desktop to make this video easier for me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to double click this and it's going to open up this little Giants Editor panel. Um, and it's going to give you options for the blenders it finds on your local device. I'm not exactly sure what versions of Blender it supports. It does appear to support 4.2 and 4.3. So I'm just going to disable it for 4.2 as this video is going to be focused on Blender 4.3. So I'm going to just hit Blender 4.3 and I'm going to hit install. It's going to say it's already installed because I already have it installed, but I'm just going to hit yes to overwrite it. Boom. And it wants you to restart Blender. I don't need it because it's not open. And once you hit close, it's going to close it all down. So next thing we're going to do is go to our Blender. Um, I said using Blender 4.3.0 and we're just going to create a new general file. So next thing we'll do is we'll go to edit preferences and then we're just going to search i3d up here on the top. Um, as I was already using it, it's already en enabled, but it could be uh, disabled on yours when you install it. So make sure you hit that check mark. Uh, that's really about it. There's not really a whole lot of options on this. I really wish they would allow you to write in the uh, game path and everything on this so you don't have to set it for every save. But um, if you create a template save, it really does help. So we're going to just go here and hit Save Preferences. It should automatically save anyway, but we'll just be safe. So now that we have that in, um, you can hit in on your keyboard and it will bring up your tool menu over here, or that's what I call it anyway. Um, and you'll see Giants i3D exporter plugged in over here and you'll have all these little options. So first thing you want to do is define your game location. So we're going to search for it or hit the file to search for it. I have it, the folder pinned since I had to do this all the time. And I'm going to hit select folder. Boom. It works magic just like that. I'm going to uncheck that and we're going to go test cube just to have a name dot i3d and we're just going to save that to our desktop perfect and then so i'm not really going to do anything too fancy with this i'll just kind of show there's a bunch of other things you can dive into um later on but i'm not going to get into it in this video um so basically the most thing that you'll be using probably will be vehicle shares um, so I'll just give kind of a quick overview of that. So if you go to detect path, uh, if you define your game, it should automatically pull your shaders folder in here, which then will populate everything else. Uh, so we're going to go to our selected material. We're going to want material. Boom. Amazing. Awesome. And in shader file, we are going to want our vehicle shader. So that even adds more stuff into it. So uh, you hit this material templates, it'll pop this open. Um, if you guys are new to this, yours might not have names on them, but if uh, BC Bueller released 
uh, a zip file that has all of the names in it along with a uh, updated material templates that just has the names on it that way so you know what they are because else it's just blocks and you don't really know what they are so um, you can use some of these if you want um, so if you hit apply to selection it will add a bold material to that um, it doesn't edit the material you already have it just adds a new one um, so I'm going to go back and select that material boom and we're just going to make it painted metal and we're just going to make it John Deere green and Matt one and name that there and then we're going to slot name we're just going to type in John Deere I haven't quite exactly figured out what the slot name is supposed to do but we'll just kind of roll with it so uh, we're going to remove that material we don't need it on there one thing I will note is make sure on your materials you go to emission and to your color drop it all the way to black so ideally you want that to be at zeros or it could be a zero what is it six zeros and two f's uh, if you don't do that you'll get a white diffuse texture when you export it to ge and it gets very annoying you have to remove it all the time so we're going to load all that in and then we're going to make sure to hit apply so um, if you have multiple materials every time you want to edit one make sure to use load or it will mess up your previous material so load and apply are very very uh, important buttons on this so make sure to use those as they should be used so theoretically that does that i'm just going to uv unwrap this real quick it doesn't matter i'm just going to smart uv it unwrap it boom magic awesome i'm going to tap back out of edit mode and we're going to go to our export go here use node name awesome i'm just going to hit export selected i don't really want to export a ton of stuff so that will export our cube out or our, i think it just named it some random dot i3d i3d um i'm sure amazing so we're going to name it test cube i3d awesome so i'm going to right click on that and just hit open and we're going to use 10.0.2 um, that's the latest version of Giants Editor at the making of this video. We will wait for it to load. Awesome. And then now we have our cube that is John Deere Green. Uh, and it has the vehicle shader applied to it. Our color scale is there. It has added in some of our spec maps and stuff like that. So you get this texture to it. Uh, that's really about it um so it's really not too complicated uh, i think converting is actually more tricky than it is to just create from scratch but that is kind of how you install the i3d exporter and the basic uses of it for fs25 so if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like and subscribe button it really does mean a lot if you want to support in a monetary way there is the option for youtube subscriptions which is like 99 cents a month it just helps support the cost of add-ons and stuff for me um, ups keeping costs and stuff so um, either which way you guys want to do it or both i do appreciate it so much you guys have helped me grow a ton on just modding and youtube in general so all the thanks to you guys but this will be lazy e signing out thank you guys for watching another video